So this is the problem. So we got a call for a sand rail that has a wheel broken off from it. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it. We got Colin driving the wrecker. We got the customer riding with uh, the guys from Red Rock Humvee Tours. They just happened to roll up and we didn't have enough seats so they offered, so that's super cool. We got Peanut, hey girl. It's shed season for her. We need to get her in for a bath. The customer is not sure where the sand rail is, so we're splitting up to do some searching. I think we haven't pinpointed where it's at, but we'll divide and conquer. That's not what divide and conquer means. Oh, yes, that Every, is. No, it isn't. What is it then? Divide and conquer means you divide your enemy, you split them into two factions and you make them fight each other. So you divide them and then you conquer them. Vocabulary lessons with Matt. The customer sent me a pretty good picture. It's right here. I can tell by looking at it that he's in a lot of sand, so we know that he's not out on a remote trail. Okay. Okay, we'll go get it. That gentleman right there, he's taking us right to it. He says it's right here at the Oasis. That's very different than the top of the world. Way different. This is the other side of the dunes. I was out of town hanging out at the Freedom Factory when this call came in. So Tom Tom took the call. When he sent me a picture of this sand rail, I looked at it. And in a second, I'm, I recognize it. I worked on this sand rail 25 years ago. It was owned by a friend of mine, and I was just talking to the gentleman here, and he says that he wants to sell it. So anyway, I got my wheels turning up here. I'm giving it a little tink. Do I even want it? Well, of course I want it. Do I need it? It's a part of your history. Oh my goodness, it's up on a hill. Yeah. So this is the problem, it broke the adapter. Yeah, the real adapter. So there's how the adapter's supposed to look right there. Oh man, those are lo loose. Yep, all these lugs are, are loose, finger tight. We're gonna have to tighten them up. That is a light little rail. Yeah. I hope we can get a wheel on this. Boy, that wheel adapter was not up to the task at all, was it? This is what I need to do with my sand rail. Yeah? That's what I need. Uh, we're gonna have to do some work to get these on. I wonder if I can use some. Oh, you are so close. Oh, he got it. Okay. It is just one of them loud Saturdays out here. Yeah. There's people everywhere. So I'm thinking I'll have you drive this out and just, you know, remember you've got two different size wheels on. I don't plan on doing anything except driving it out. We gotta somehow get that other side tightened up too. The other side loose? Yeah. Man. 
We're just gonna have four of these on here. So that'll, we'll put, that'll get us out. Yeah, we'll get us out of here. Uh, do you want to get the tool burrito out? Yeah, let's see if we can tighten up those other ones. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a neat dish, isn't it? Yeah. So those kids throw on their trucks. Yeah. This is a good lesson for you, Colin. Colin likes those wheel spacers and rubber band wheels on diesel trucks. And I told him they're just ball joint killers. I don't like wheel spacers, but I do like wide wheels. Right there. Right there. Yeah. All right. We'll be in touch. See you later. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. This thing's sweet. Dead battery. I guess that's what we get for buying it without test driving at first, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. Key on? Yeah, key's on. Do one more. Time. It needs an exhaust. Oh my goodness. Well, I think it's gonna be fast. We got the tire stowed away. We got a mismatched set of tires on there. So you just head out and I'll follow you. Just take it easy. Where do you want me to go, Green Gate? Or do you want to go back to water tanks? Let me think about that. We'll tell you when we decide. A few minutes later. Okay, so we've decided to go to the Green Gate. That way we can just leave it there and then pick it up with the rollback. This is hard, but fuel pump was off, and now we'll just cruise. about the motor in this thing and how it has potential and I dropped the key in this. It had a nice big key fob on it, but Colin said it was bothering me when I was trying to turn it on and so I took it off. So it's here somewhere. It can't have gone underneath the sand. That's what they do. That's the thing about sand. It's gonna be on the top. There it is. All right. All right, we've just got to get the roll back, pick this up. This is what was bothering me. Instead of grabbing the key, you were grabbing all this stuff. Mom's going to be so happy. So I gave my keys to the dad because he's the responsible one. He all never right. beat up his landlord. <laughs> Harold would never beat up his landlord? Where are the keys? I gave them to you. I don't remember you. I gave them to do, you. Do you remember how to give keys to somebody? I handed them to you and you looked at me and no, 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 acknowledged. No. no. All right, so we looked for the keys and... Colin had them. So there's a rule, a tow truck rule of keys. When you give keys to somebody, you do a little song and a dance, so it's very memorable. They think you're insane, but at least they'll be like, you never gave me the keys. And I said, remember what I did that insane song and dance? And they're like, oh yeah. We got it loaded up. We're gonna head back to the shop, do a little work on it, take it out for some testing. A lot of you know that Rory is building Robbie an off-road wrecker, and I am just not happy about it. The reason being is I think we already have the coolest off-road wrecker out there. I think you guys know which one we're talking about. No, not that one. No, no. Come on, now you guys are just messing with me. Okay, all right. If you'd like to help me protest, go to trailmater.com, get the merchandise, wear it around. When people ask you about it, you tell them they must be stopped. Now that that's out of the way, a lot of you know that Rory challenged Cletus to a wrecker race at the Freedom Factory. They're gonna be running them right down the drag strip to see who has the fastest wrecker. Here's what I'm thinking. 
I know there's a lot of awesome wreckers out there. So Chad's Fab has Grizz. Rory has Old Blue with a blower. And Paul has a 6.2 LS with a blower. And I have the world's largest, slowest off-road wrecker. It's true. But come on, guys. It's the coolest, right? It's the coolest. If you want to see this go down, you need to go over to Cletus's channel. Let him know that you want to see Utah versus Florida. Wrecker style. So after you get done bugging Cletus, you need to go to Chad Fab, bug him. Fab Rats, bug him. Trail Mater, bug him. Let all of them know you want to see them at the Freedom Factory laying the smack down. Speaking of the smack down, I'm going to be laying it down at the Freedom 500 this Friday. If you guys want to see it, there is a pay-per-view. Where's that at? Freedomplus.com. Go check it out. It's going to be sweet. If you don't catch the live stream, don't worry. We're filming the whole thing. We're going to be putting it right here on YouTube so you can watch it for free. Back to the other thing that we do. <laughs> Got it under control? We haven't tried yet, but uh, he blew the belt halfway around that corner and then stuck it. And it's holding on for dear life. I can set up right here, hook to him, pull him right up here, and then let you guys handle it from there. So we didn't get a call for this job, but we were driving by. And so we figured we'd stop and help. I'm just trying to get Colin on the same page as the rest of us. <laughs> we stopped to help, and so he just went out there and started doing two-wheel drive donuts. I need you to back up right here. That's good. People don't realize the camera never does it justice. That wow. you could go and barely lean on it, and it would tumble down the hill, but you can't tell. It doesn't even look like it's on an angle. There is a lot of ways to do what we're doing. We're doing some experimenting because we always like to see where the edge is. I want to see if the more bear can pull that up this hill. Okay, Colin, jump in that thing. Let me put some, let me put some tension on it first. We're going to want to go around this one down here. We're just pulling from the low side because that's the side that's stuck. So this wheel is going to offer us a lot more resistance than that wheel. You're getting in this, Colin? Yeah, once he tightens up the rope. If I get in that thing, it's going to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Caitlin, tell me when it's. Okay. That's probably good. Okay, Colin's getting in. Oh yeah, it ain't going. Oh, as he wiggles it, like he's done this before. Okay, you're in neutral. Yep. Oh, this is a new one. Tell me how it looks. Moving. Slicing through the earth. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, we're ready to go again. Wow. That thing is nice. Look at this, you have oh volume control. That's really nice. Kind of clashes with the blue, if I do say so myself. Not I'm too no bad. expert. But I, I barely passed start when I was in middle school, and I had to take it because they made me. I don't know if I should be proud or ashamed, but <laughs> well, hey, thanks for letting us help you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. So we got a call, and boy, is it ever going to be a treat for you today? Because I'm in my pajama pants, got my mischief maker shirt on. It's my day off. I deserve it. I have been going wall to wall, 10 feet tall for weeks now. I just got off a plane from the Freedom Factory all the way back there in Florida. I just sat down, ate dinner, and then this call came in. He's in his Crocs too. Yeah, I am totally checked out, completely checked out here. 
So what we got going on here is we got a vehicle that's broke down. It's not really very far off road. There's a really famous motor club that this guy is a member of and he told them where they were at and they won't come get him. They won't come get him. I just don't understand that. We are in the rental Jeep today. We're headed up to the Leverick and Overlook Road, but we'll just drag him a few feet, get him to the pavement, and then the big motor club will come and get him. Let's not forget the weather report from the lovely Jamie. It's like 60 degrees outside, cloudy. We'll get him out. We always do. Great, my Jeep's gonna get all muddy. I hope he's got a toe eye so that I don't have to lay down and get in the mud. Oh, I see him right there. I wonder what is wrong with the car. Is this gonna be one that you get in it and make it run? Maybe. Maybe the traction control is just like, we're not moving. The road is muddy and it's just not gonna let him move. I don't know. We got nothing. I'm not seeing right here. We might have a All right. Anything you latch on to? Yeah. Let's see here. We should be looking. I hope it's in here. No, uh, we don't have it. So it's definitely not in there. Usually there's a special place for them. And I'm not seeing that special place. So for those of you that wonder why we're not using the nautical eye of towing and traction, it's because we don't have it. So we'll just do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna lay in the mud and hook up. So total electrical failure. Every warning sign on the car went off at the same time. And lost power steering, brake control. A lot of fun. Oh man. Let's try to think. We should probably get it either to that turnout, that pull out, okay. or on the other side by the gun range. All right. was flinging mud like crazy. I got some in my back, in the back of me. All right, that was that. He's got a tow truck coming to haul it off to his shop. We just needed to get him out there to where the tow truck could get him. Thanks for watching. What is this? Another Corvair? Where are we going to store this thing? Hey Siri, call Matt.